And this is definitely what people are talking about. If you were outside today, you got a taste of the heat and humidity. The relentless conditions taking a toll on workers, animals, and first responders. Yeah, all the above, definitely. Fox 16 caught up with paramedics to find out what you should be doing to stay cool and safe. Rochelle joins us more with that, Rochelle. Well, Donna Kevin, good evening to you. Hydration is critical and making sure you drink enough water before you go out into this heat. Now, so far this month, medics have already responded to about 30 calls. And today I caught up with one family who's beating the heat all while having a little fun. It's hot outside. <laughs> heat waves bearing down on our Kansans. Oppressive. <laughs> Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really hot. As Mother Nature cranks it up, many families coming here to this splash pad to beat the heat Monday. It's a great place to bring the kids. It's free and they cool off really quickly and we just like watching how much fun all the kids here have together. The weather causing a dangerous sweat for people who work outside. Lots of cold water. The triple digit heat index has crews working around the clock. We saw about 45 calls in July, so over one a day. Uh, we're up to around 150 so far for the year of some type of heat related. Staying hydrated is key to avoid heat exhaustion and heat stroke. When you start feeling, you know, weak, dizzy, um, cramps in your muscles, you probably need to get out of the heat. While the splash pad is a fun way to catch some shade, there are other ways you can chill out. We play by our fan. My grandmother has a pool and we eat popsicles. And as the heat returns Tuesday, medics remind you to listen to your body. When it tells you to slow down, go cool off, you know, go inside and cool off or find some shade. Best advice is stay inside. Now with school starting tomorrow and Wednesday, I reached out to the Little Rock and Pulaski County School District. School leaders have plans in place to make sure students are hydrated during football practice and stay inside for recess. Back to you. Yeah.